What's up everybody? Um, it's like March 11th or no, it's the 13th today. It's March 13th. Um, and yesterday we had a real good day. It was like 30 something. Um, starting to warm up here in Minnesota. We've had a lot of snow, a lot of cold. It's been a tough uh, few months here. But anyway, I'm, I'm prepping and getting ready to um, do maple syrup season here and I just want to go over a few things you know uh, what a person would need to do and I'll, I'll have follow-up videos as I go through but I don't necessarily think the sap is running yet but I'm gonna get a couple um, bags hanging so that when it does start to run I can hurry up and get the buckets and lines in um, what you're gonna so need is uh, like this is an old hand drill and I use this for many years um, but I mean it's 2019 so cordless drills are pretty affordable you're gonna want a drill bit big enough to put the spigot in and this one goes in there into the tree and then you want a hammer to pound it in and then your bag and this one hangs it's just a bag and it hangs and then it fills up and then you take it out and dump it into a bigger bucket but that hole there is where the spigot hangs onto that and uh, let's uh let's go drill some trees started, and then once they start to run uh, the sap starts to come then I branch out and get the rest of them on the property. I do every other year, and then I have um, the ones over there, the smaller ones, I have tape on them. I have uh, three colors of tape that you can buy at any hardware store. I have a neon green and orange and like a, a blue, I think it is. But, um, so I'll tape them off, and if I do, you know, the blue and the neon green, then I know I, I won't do them the next year. Um, and then, I'll, you know, I'll take, rip it off because as a tree grows, you don't want that tape on there. Um, but that way, when, I, when I'm done with it for the year, then I'll tape them off. But these ones are so big and healthy that I, I don't take a lot from them. I just kind of get started. And then once it starts, then I just kind of, um, like I said, I branch out to the rest of the property and get the other trees. So I'm going to go ahead and tap these.
So as you can see, I got two bags. Uh, they're relatively expensive, are inexpensive to get started out. Um, the the sack holder was $3.99 at LM Fleet Supply. I think the bag was about a buck, maybe a buck ninety-nine. The the spigot was probably a dollar ninety-nine. Um, it's not it's not a lot, you know. There's different options you can go with. As the season goes on, you'll see that I do some of the other um, buckets and lines. They're a little bit more spendy. Um, the biggest thing for me in the past has been fuel. I use propane. Um, you know, traditionally you should use wood. Wood would be cheaper. You could get a quart of wood. You know, last year, I think, uh, not last year, but the last time I did, I think I went through three or four 20 pound tanks of propane. Um, and I think I had 60 gallons of sap. And, um, you know, what you're doing is you're cooking out the moisture and you're cooking out the water so that you're left with the sugar. So um, I'm gonna let these sit. I'll come back tomorrow, see if there's any sap in them. If there isn't, I'll let them go for another day. 